Hi, um, here is another demonstration uh, regarding high availability for individual VMs. Um, as you can see, currently the VM is running on dot 22, um, and there is one more. The same VM was shut down be, uh, regarding our initial demonstration for <coughs> live migration. Now, I have I have created two scripts. Uh, uh, it's running on both the host VM host like dot 12 and dot 22 and just to check the VM is up and uh, running all the time I have I, ha I have started this ping session all the time and you can look in this window that the VM is up right now um, if you check out um, on dot 12 what I will do is I will, I will start this um, script for high ability it's called H Xan dot sh and I will put it in a background so all the time he will check it out and the same thing I will run it this is in a normal scenario like when uh, both the host are up and uh, both the host are up and one VM is running so I will also start the same thing over here Okay, now you can you can see the outputs like you know what what these two hosts are doing is they are checking uh, whether the VM is uh, running locally or somewhere else. So if the VM is running locally, it's fine. It will just exit. For example, on this currently, as you see, the VM is running on dot twenty two. That is Xen host two, and here the script says that VM is running on this VM host. On this host, you you will see that it says no VM is running on this system, and he says, okay, let me check if it's running on a different V host. All it does, it does a simple ping, and if he if he can able to ping this uh, VM, which is dot fifteen, then he will say, hey, it's running somewhere else. So you know, I will just exit. So the script exits, and again it starts. So this cycle comes. All the time so here there is no um, what is called what you call a quarrel uh, there is no quarreling so <clears throat> to avoid this um, there is a log file in a shared storage again I, 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 I will mention this that you need a shared storage for this to work otherwise again this will is not going to work so for every high ability and migration you need a shared storage so here is a demo now as you know how all things are working now let me turn it off one machine for example if I turn off this machine that means this VM is down if this VM is down then this host will automatically detect that this is this guy is down and he will try to turn it on this one so let's get an example here I, I, I will just shut it down Let me just shut it down. See, both the scripts were running on both the scripts. I'm shutting down the host, and let's see what happens. Now there are there are some delay timers in it, so see you can see here that I cannot get the ping now so this guy is halted and here it says no VM is running on this system let me check if it's running it's now it's down it says dot 15 is down and it will try to bring it up it says domain VM 0 started you can see here also it's running now this is a different now you know you just have to say disconnect because there is no connection the we have shut down this host so basically it's the screen is not refreshing you won't see that the VM is down or shut down you know you just have to disconnect but the main purpose is solved that as soon as we shut it down that um, dot 22 
the VM0 on dot 12 automatically came up and let's see what happens after it comes up so right now he's bringing up actually it already come up you can see that it's going ping is going on but what happens uh, this this takes basically a minute because I once the domain is started you need at least a minute to make sure that the whole domain uh, the whole VM starts up and it's again pingable unless then it will not release the lock file otherwise if other system is running with a different script he will also try to if he finds that hey the dot 15 is uh, if the local machine is not up and dot 15 is also not up which is in a starting process he will try to bring it up on his own host and you will you will have two instances of vm0 on two boxes so to avoid that there is a lock file and the lock file stays there for like a minute just to give enough time for vm0 to start up now again we will extend this like now once this is running right now what happens if this comes up if this box comes up like dot 22 okay let me turn it on the dot 22 okay I started dot 22 and give it a while and it will be up The dot 22 is coming up it will take a while again okay, meanwhile um, if you want to see how the script is written we can check it out Yeah, the script is like this just a minute okay so now this script was designed only for one VM right now but we can extend to like number of VMs like suppose if we have five VMs then this while loop this one whole while loop will check for all the five things in this whole uh, logic so suppose if you have five machines, five VMs, then in one single loop it will check for five machines. If anyone is dying, basically if anyone is shut down or if the hardware is died and the machine is not pingable, then he will try to bring it up on this machine, on this VM host. So it will be very similar, but currently I just wrote it for only one VM and the, these are the various common variables like the name of the VM, the ID for the virtual machine, the IP for the virtual machine and for each virtual machine we create one log file just to make sure nobody quarrels you know that because there are two more than two instances of a same script running on a different V host and to avoid that quarreling between uh, the script we have to create a log file and as you can see in the very first line was to remove the log file because whenever you start a script if there is a log file just remove it just in case this is for sanity check again when you see slash vm now slash vm is a shared storage so everybody can see this slash vm it's not on the same or it's not just on one box you know it's basically a shared between all the v host so that's why there, there will be only one instance of a log file for particular vm so if there is a if we add one more vm there will be one more log file for that vm so the name will be like slash vm slash vm01 dash lock and there's a loop 
the very first thing um, it will try to uh, check locally you know whether it's it's um, whether it's the, the whether the VM is itself on the local machine and to do that the command is this and if he finds it on the local machine then that's it. it it won't do anything it just comes out and says VM is running on the VM host now this VM host if it's not on the local machine local VM local host then it will what it will, it will try to find out whether it's some running somewhere else on some other host this is done this is done by pinging the same using vm ip like this is the id and this is ip right so he he uses that ping if it if he gets a ping answer then it's fine if he doesn't then he will again try to blah 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 and he will try to bring it up on the local machine so that's the logic okay let's see whether the other box came up and how things are going on okay this box came up uh, this guy is also running and suppose if I basically this script as h a z dot s h will be it will be running you know during the startup but in this test environment I am running uh, manually here whenever the system boots up so let's see it says it's running on this VM host this is because uh, whenever any machine starts up um, it will try to auto automatically try to run the VMs so yeah there is a hitch in the program let's see how to tackle that okay let me connect to that here it says off oh we are we are we, we are running the same instance on the same box sorry so what I will do is I will, I will remove this instance of the script sorry 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 Okay, we'll we'll uh, remove the latest one which I just ran is like two one 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 seven. Just make sure it's gone. Okay, it's gone. I have to log into that. Zero dot twenty two. okay and let's see if I start this on dot 22 what does this guy says okay permission denied okay here now 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 he, he found out that there is no VM0 running locally so he tried to find by using the IP address in IP address is up so he's exiting so he's not trying to bring it up this guy so that's it probably this is we achieved the etching 